All right, let's talk about macroeconomy. This will be very important for you, not your average video. We will talk about what really matters to make a ton of money. So that means I will not be reading off some inflation report or jobs report or anything you can get access to for $2.99 on Wall Street Journal that will already be priced into the market because there's a lot of noise like this and in the end it truly doesn't matter that much for our ability to make money as investors. What we instead need to focus on and what I really focus on is first hand knowledge first party data data coming in to me directly from the field it can be from you guys in the comment section it can be from friends in different industries and different geographies in the world telling me about events happening when you comment down below i'm able to look at certain industries and discover huge bear market where an industry might be totally crashed just like we just did in the real estate market took a look at this big bear market this big buying opportunity that's recovering now it's closing blackrock's buying up a lot of reits other venture capital companies are buying up these houses that are on fire sale right now before that we could see it in transportation especially more time transportation we could see it in the banking sector in 08 when all the share prices were totally cratered we could see these market cycles and in every case they have recovered and in every case there was a massive buying opportunity this holds true as well on a micro scale for example when i was younger back in 2015 16 somewhere around there i think i got a hot tip on a company called the rubicon project didn't have a lot of money back then but i was able to take a look at the advertising industry from a person who understand the exchanges how it worked how the pricing worked and how they were switching in the pricing model i was able to take advantage of this specific knowledge from somebody who would buy ads and then just use that to make a extra informed investing decision netting me a nice 40k swedish as just a student having rent of 3700 big money back then really early on back then i was able to understand the huge opportunities that come from investing from being able to find these micro bull markets smaller stocks overlooked by larger investors just the opportunity to make a ton of money later on i also got comment here on this youtube channel somebody talking about the liquid neutral gas shipping company and just lost a contract over in indonesia stock price was hammered terrific buying opportunity given i was even able to understand the market how easy it was with supply and demand and having the ships anchor off offshore from the companies basically and then just transporting so that if the currency goes terribly wrong with inflation or something like that they can just release anchor and go to the next place super interesting opportunity coming from understanding the macros coming from understanding supply and demand in the shipping industry at that time there were plenty of comments on different shipping companies they were very very hot a few years ago a lot of them had absolutely crashed and then prices came up massively and we made a ton of money on that sector and now that's opportunity that's gone just like the banking opportunity in 08 was gone just like the advertising industry back in 2000 early 2010s was gone and that opportunity was gone as well so these macro cycles back to the macro economy once again now we have this whole housing market especially on the commercial side where there's just a massive opportunity and once again i see in my comments i see different reads i see a lot of people commenting property companies that's been very hot for example we had vonovia in germany one comment asking about we've had quite a few in america some in canada some in sweden and 
just by seeing those comments, just by researching all of those companies that I get suggested, I'm able to understand the dynamics of the bull and bear market in that specific industry. And I also reach out to people in that industry. I ask questions on LinkedIn. I just reach out to people to have a quick chat, to learn things. And maybe I have some friend from university who's in that industry as well to get to know it better. I know a few realtors I can call and ask questions as well about how the market is in just a few countries in Europe in that case, only two of them, but better than nothing. First party data, always better than the data that you get from reading the Wall Street Journal, because by the time it hits print there, then you know it's already too late. All right, that's been it for this video covering macro trends, the importance of first party data. And as always, hope you guys make a ton of money, whatever investments you decide to make. All right, take care now. Bye bye.